Hey guys, King Gath here with episode 30 of my Sim Settlements 2 and Chapter 2 Let's Play series. This is the edited version of my live stream. And for those of you who loved the uh, live stream where we had Jake's voice actor Tom come on, we did that again this episode with Aiden's voice actor River. That is uh, in the full version of the live stream, which will, will be linked below. So if you want to check out that, we had a lot of fun, raised a bunch of money for charity, and uh, you will laugh your butt off listening to that. But all that said, let's get to the gameplay. Wait, where does it say they are? Let's say they're in Diamond City? Somebody's just here? Oh, I wonder if it caught the deserter. I wonder if that's like a little bug with uh, with the Ron's recruitment is that it counts deserters as not being recruited. That'd be really funny. S systems uh, bashing together unintentionally would be what that would be. Uh, but this could be the case of one. Let's see. Maybe not, though. Who would be in public occurrences? Or is this like a note you find in there? I don't remember this at all. Yeah, I think this is a note you find in there. Oh yeah, here we go. Radio rumors. Oh, this is gonna be fish food. Awesome. This is the one you can, I think you can actually stumble upon this if you wander out into the glowing sea too. I don't think you actually have to do. No, I don't wanna talk to you, Piper. I'm not here to do an interview. Close to the middle of the glowing sea. Okay, so I'm not going close enough. I, I know it's, I think it's got one of those, uh, so probably more like this. We'll move it there. Uh oh, blow fly. Oh yeah, sorry, the Brotherhood's around. I can hear a uh, vertebrae zipping around in the background. Here, little blowfly. I've got 50 calibers for you. Ooh, that was good. All right, Brotherhood can take on uh, random raiders and stuff for us. Okay, starting to hear a little bit. Uh oh. There it is. Alright, we should be able to turn off the radio now. Okay, we made it to fish food. Now let's hope pre-combines aren't broken for some reason because that breaks the cell under the entryway here. Nope, nope. Down you go. No legs for you. Well, dog meat made it down, so that's positive. Any of you guys got any shotgun shells for me? No oh, plasma cartridges. We can sell all this ammo. Alright, we made it down, so pre-combines are not broken here. I'm just going to assume you guys are alive. Crack shot on those bloat flies. Not so much on the guys laying down. Whoa! Oh god, it's Gollum! Alright, let's... Alright, we better pop some more stuff here. All the chems. Terminal somewhere. Oh, that's right. Unlock door, thank you. Alright, here we get to talk to an NPC. We can find out if uh, the volume is funky, what they're talking. There he is. Careful. You're gonna let the whole glowing sea in here. What are you doing out here? Oh, uh, you know. <laughs> Couple of masked guys. Chatting away with no uh, filter. I, I really it makes me appreciate the don't ask the overlay we did on ventilator's outfit for his voice. You're in greater danger than you know. There's a transmitter in this building that's like ghoul nip for ferals. It was on standby as long as the door remains sealed. That door, the one behind you. We have minutes before the ferals swarm this place, if we're lucky. How have you survived in all this radiation? Careful planning, a dwindling stock of Radex, and a well-maintained hazmat suit. Oh, and I'm a ghoul, so there's that. 
There must be something we can do. By now, every feral on the glowing sea will be headed for this dump. Our best plan is to stop that transmitter. If you can do that, we'll have a chance to make it out of the glowing sea alive. Sound good? Good. And watch your rads. It's toasty out there. Alright. Up we go. Hello. Uh. Oof. Oh god. Our armor's holding up pretty good, despite uh, taking the nerf in the last patch. Oh. Okay. I don't know that we have time to just just keep fighting these waves after. I think they keep coming in a wave. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's try and hurry up and hit this. There we go. Oh, but now we got Ah, oh, we're just gonna leave you guys. Oh good, I can hear the antenna going down. Ta-da! Alright, we can just leave those up there. Hopefully dog meat made it. I heard him barking, did not hear him screaming, so I think he's okay. Alright, I think we can safely loot now. Nope, dog meat, vicious snarl. Oh, stim pack, alright. But no, I need shotgun ammo. Are you guys got any ghouls with shotgun shells? There we go. Whatever the transmitter was intended to do, it stopped doing it. I assume that was you. Well done. Thank you for sure. A compliment and a comment on your rad count. Hope you pack some rad away. And, and hey, share them if you got them. Look, you saved my bacon out there. Sure, it's grisly bacon, but I know who I owe, you know. My nuclear waste removal skills are at your service. I assume you'll explain what you're talking about at some point. I know this is hard to swallow, so bear with me. Before the Great War, there was uh, what you might call a pressing need to dispose of nuclear waste. And before the Great War, that's what I did. I wouldn't call it a glamorous job, but it paid well, and I was damn good at it. After the uh, radioactive dust settled, I figured I'm uniquely suited to handle the biggest cleanup job available. So I've been doing that ever since. I have some questions first. Let me stop you right there. Yes, I've lived since the Great War. No, I don't work for Might have to cut you out so and I can yes, pop some red eggs. No, my name is absurd. Once a super <laughs> mutant uses you as live bait for mire lurks, you learn to appreciate the absurd. It's one of my many skills. If you really want out of here, you can come work for me on a settlement. All right, don't have to ask me twice. Point me where you need me. Well, you know where we're going. Wash the rads off. Sunshine tidings, of course. Catherine Drake. Did I send her to HQ and I just forgot? That makes this easier, then, if she's hanging out here. Although, I think the next leg of her quest only works in a settlement, so I think I might have to, like, I might, I don't know. I might, it's probably either going to break her quest or I need to send her to a settlement before I talk to her. So I'm going to try that. Because I'm 99% I'm certain the next leg of her quest is build her a specific plot. And it usually the objective ties itself to the current settlement they're in. So well, let's see what happens here. We'll see what she hey, says. You uh, got a second? I have an idea I'd like to run by you. Absolutely. Go ahead. So I spent the last few days getting settled in. Still getting used to things, but... I can't help but notice there's a lot of junk around here. Wait, no. That came out wrong. <laughs> yeah, we still got a lot to clean up. What I Working mean on is, it. there's a lot of stuff just lying around. I have a way we can make use of it. I used to be a junk runner from my old home. Anything that was useful in the ruins outside the walls, I could find it. Even things the others ignored. If we had a place here where people could drop off the extra scrap, I know some ways to get the most out of it. If you were willing to mark off some space where we could pull something like that together, I'd make sure people took it seriously. What do you think? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think it's a great idea. Really? You think so? 
That's great. Thank you so much. Mark off the space we want us to set up shop, and we'll take care of the rest. All right, let's see. Industrial plot. Okay, it, so it didn't tell me. Cool. Okay, so it didn't tag this particular settlement, so that's good. So let's go. So I maybe I did the objective based on where she's working. Okay. God, even the sky isn't safe. Did you see that blimp thing? The... <sighs> okay, where are you, buddy? Whoa there. Did it just get cooler in here? Hi. Welcome to the Ron's Information Emporium. How can the Ron help you today? Any idea where I can find someone? Looking for talent, are we? What kind of attributes you in the market for? I'm whatever for whatever you got. I'm not picky right now. Let's try perception again. Otherwise. Here. Yes. This All right. get you More folks for engineering. For. Come back again. Oh yeah. Okay, let's see here. And that one goes to sure, we'll pop up there. See, I'm pretty sure we have enough Ah every time. Every time I forget. Should have enough resources to just go craft ourselves an ace down. But we'll go check who's up there too. Maybe it'll be a quick get settler. And then, yeah, hopefully we'll find Carla one of these times. We can sell us some as well. I know I have some somewhere. I dumped them off in some workbench and I just forgot. Probably a sunshine or sanctuary, since that's where we seem to be hanging out all the time. Oop, failed at sunshine. Oh, well. <laughs> I have a new stash for you to look at. Go on, you can stare. I'm not programmed to blush. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, Mr. Hansy. Uh, oh, whoever it was, they ran away. Up, oh, they ran off to Starlight. All right, we'll slowly chase them toward Red Rocket. All right, who do we got over here? This looks like Julie Foreman, I think. Let's just zap her for her stats before we even get to her. What do we think? What are we getting? Eh, a little bit of perception. That's not bad. Better than our some of our derpy Hello. settlers. I was wondering if you had a moment to talk. All right. Brilliant. <laughs> Did me just growl at her? Use another person around here. Before you ask, yes, I'm a ghoul. My family was visiting DC when the bombs fell. We ended up living in the underworld until the Brotherhood of Steel, the bloody bastards, decided ghouls like me were a target. They got my mum and dad. After that, I wandered for a bit, then came here, looking for a peaceful place to settle down away from those Brotherhood wankers. In short, if you're also against the Brotherhood and need someone to have your back on this in any way, count me in. What do you say? Uh, I mean, I'll pretend for now. Uh, sure. Let's do this. Excellent decision. If you would be so kind as to show me where you need me. I don't think I have any Brotherhood recruits yet, so. But just in case I get some, I'm going to put her somewhere different so I remember that. Because I think I have it set up where. I think she's aggressive to Brotherhood, if I'm not. I, I know we did some funky faction stuff, or maybe it was. Maybe that's the thing people have reported that, like, she's not angry at Brotherhood characters and they wanted her to be. I don't remember what it was. I remember there's some reports about her regarding Brotherhood. Um, so we'll send you to Starlight. All right. So we want to do Hold something on. else. I'll be back. Because I didn't unequip the thing, and hey, we'll talk to her. Good to see you. I still need some time to get things together, but, uh,. Oh I god, with the the chatbots, go I away. Something you'd be interested in. There we go. Okay, character written by Zero Division, voiced by Jojo. Um, Alright, it says she's going to have another thing for us. Now, I'm trying to remember if... I think she just gives us a... Ra later she gives Can us I a Radiant Quest, if I'm not mistaken. Hold Let's on. try this again. I'll be back. So I don't think it actually... I'd like to trade some items matters if Sleeping she's in HQ for the next part. So let's send her back there and we'll just remember me. we have this place if we need it. All right. Got a minute. Let's try working at HQ. Coming to work for me. Okay. So now the question will be does she actually make it? Cuz people in chat are saying it won't. That this that I just broke her. So we'll find out. Um all right. So we sent her. Let's go send let's go back to Sunshine. 
we can try sending a couple of our high perception folks and then i think uh we'll be ready to uh bring river on and uh get those super chats ready guys let's uh, let's see what uh what we can hear in aiden's voice tonight <laughs> 